guys and welcome back to my channel so today I thought I would do a little Q&A for you so you can kind of get to know me my last Q&A was two years ago I think two years ago and a lot has changed in those two years because in my last video I wasn't at uni and I said that I was never gonna go back and here I am back at uni <laughs> Okay, so I have just got a couple of questions up on my phone, just so you can kind of get to know me, you know, if you want to, obviously. So the first question is, what is your name, age, location, and job? So my name is, technically it's Eleanor Kendall, but we're El Kendall on this channel. And I'm just turned 24. I was 24 on the 24th of December, and I'm currently living in Huddersfield at uni and I'm from Norwich originally and job I technically only have a job when I'm at home and as a nursery nurse and when I'm at uni I don't work so I'm a full-time student what is my star sign so I am just in Capricorn and I feel like I'm such a true Capricorn I'm really into astrology so yeah, I'm a Capricorn, which means I'm hardworking, stubborn, and is always right, which, you know, sounds about right. Do you play sports? If so, what? So I currently play for the university's football team, which is super fun and it is a really good way to keep fit. Uh, I used to swim when I was younger and I really enjoyed doing that, but I don't do it as much now. Um, yeah, I just kind of fell out of love with it because I was doing it for I was doing it for so long, I kind of just grew out of it. But yeah, so currently football, but I am open to trying anything, anything kind of sporty. So the next question is, what direction do I want to take my channel into? So I've been thinking about this recently a lot. You know, with a lot of reflecting of last year and kind of setting my goals for this year my main kind of direction for my channel is to do obviously makeup videos this it's the reason why I started watching YouTube when I was younger was for the makeup tutorials but I also want to dip and dab out of lifestyle as well I really I personally like watching vlogs and stuff so I'd like to get into vlogging and doing like days in the life and things like that but yeah, and also fashion as well. I'd love to talk more about business as well. I'm currently doing a business year instead of placement. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of open to do anything, but my main focus will be makeup and vlog style kind of videos, but yeah. Uh, the next question is, if you won the lottery, how would you spend it? I would definitely go into property. I'd definitely buy my mum a house, like 100%. I would also buy myself a house because I wouldn't need to live in it now because I wouldn't want it to be in Huddersfield so I'd probably buy a property somewhere and then rent it out so then I'm earning some income off that um, I don't know I'd probably do a massive shopping haul or something like that I don't know <laughs> but the main thing I would focus on is probably property favourite skincare product and why mm oh my god this is actually really difficult probably toner as a whole because i use i use it without fail even if i'm doing like even if i'm not doing like a deep clean of my face i always use toner um but then a face wash would make sense wouldn't it no i'm gonna go with toner i'm gonna go with the oda hendrickson dark spot toner because i can't live without that so yeah definitely toner um who are your favorite influencers slash youtubers and why so i follow loads of different influencers and youtubers for different reasons so i really love l darby and Gemma louise miles for their lifestyle vlogs i love jamie genevieve J jamie genevieve is literally my inspo like i love her I love her for her makeup videos. I also love Jacqueline Hill. I love her makeup videos and she's really good at teaching as well. I love her teaching aspect to her videos. Um, vlogs. I like Sophia and Chintzy's vlogs because they're always really long 
and I like watching really long vlog so i like sophia and chintzia i love the ace family they're like my guilty pleasure oh and obviously danielle mansuti she's like one of my ogs like i used to follow her she was like one of the first girls i used to follow and i'm still obsessed with her what's this bit of hair go away so yeah those people for those reasons would you ever have any filler or plastic surgery i don't think i would now i'm not gonna say never say never but it's certainly something I don't see myself getting or plan to get, if that makes sense. But I've seen some people have filler and it looks amazing. But no, I don't think it's for me. But then I don't want to say never say never. Um, so the next question is, what are your plans for the future? So my plans for the future is number one, to obviously graduate. So I graduate not this summer, summer after. So I would love to graduate with a 2-1. Put it out into the universe. Um, I'm currently on a 2-1 anyway. I finished second year with a 2-1, so I hope I keep that up or even go higher. I would love to graduate with a first. That'd be fantastic. I would love to even move to Manchester or Leeds. I definitely want to stay up north, so that's certainly in my pipeline. And mainly to be happy as well. I have had some really, really dark times and i just know the value i don't i know the full value of happiness so i'd love to just be happy and doing something what i love doing but yeah so i think that's all the questions i think they were the ones i wrote down but yeah so hopefully you've got a bit of an insight into who i am as a person i'm really sorry if my voice is really monotone and really boring <laughs> i will try and work on that leave me in the comments your answers to your to my questions as well i'd love to know what your plans for the future are and what your star signs are because I love astrology. So if you enjoyed watching this video, please give me a, a thumbs up and subscribe if you like me as a person and want to see more of my stuff. But yeah, so I hope to see you guys soon and I'll see you in my next video. Cheerio, cheerio, cheerio.